What's up guys and gals, welcome back to Doom. My name is Splattercat, I just pushed a button, this thing's gonna come down from the ceiling, and you are here watching me. Welcome all back in. It's time for us to, apparently we gotta go find the Fly Swatter of Deceit, and then we've gotta stop demons from doing demony things, which is to be expected. I mean, I am what I am, said the scorpion. So, you know. You guys ever have that fable when you were a kid with the scorpion, like the frog or the turtle or whatever the shit? Where he gets on his back and goes across the river, and then the scorpion's like, Ah, I stung you, and now we're both gonna drown. And they both seem to have this really... odd conversation about the fact that they're both about to die. Horribly. I feel like there's zombies in here. I feel like that's a pretty good impression of... the benefits of this room. Ah. Well, here, let me help you with that. Perfect. Hooray for another weapon up point. Trying to get that freebie armor right now. Oh man, this hallway is going to be trouble for me. Yeah, this hallway is bad. That guy just got Tyrannosaurus. He was making the same noise though. He's making the noise like a T-Rex in Jurassic Park. Just like a thing that it does. And they sound like a biological foghorn or something. Sorry, pal. What is our insistence on red-hued rooms? I swear. Couldn't the minions of hell pick something a little bit less jarring to the eyes? Something, I don't know, pastel? Lazarus wave at full charge, ready for activation. This hell wave will redirect the course of mankind. On this day, we make our contribution to their cause. Our salvation lies with them. I pulled you from that tomb in the Callinger Sanctum for this reason. I knew she was weak. Our work doesn't come without risks. And I released you from your prison to help mitigate those risks. I knew that in the event of a catastrophe, You'd be the only thing that could stop them. How convenient is that, though, that I was just laying on a stone table somewhere? Like, are we ever going to explore how I was in hell in the first place? Like, they never really talked about that. Like, Doomguy is just chilling on a slab? How did he get there? Because as I recall, Doomguy did pretty well in the previous games at kind of mitigating the demonic threat. You know, ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da da ba da ba da ba da ba da Doesn't look like there's anything back here. Sorry, I just wanted to take a look around and make sure I'm not missing anything too useful before we go any further. We have found some secrets. Not very many, though. We've had a hard time with this set of levels, apparently. Oh, I missed out on, like, a little Doom Guy thing over there, too. Hmm, maybe I should go back then. Oh, I can't. Wait, can I? Yeah, I can. Oh no. It's a climby puzzle. So let's say I go back this way. Let's see if we can find one of those little Doom Guy icons. He's got to be in here. So there was some armor back here that I missed out on, which sounds great. Because I need armor. Perfect. I will use that all night long, all night, all night long. All right, so over here, it says that there's a doom guy hidden to my left. Oh. So they're sort of invoking that old school Doom feeling where you gotta walk across the walls while spamming on the spacebar, trying to find secrets. Why does it sound like there's monsters in the walls? This room's really got me feeling like I missed something. Because you can hear them. There's monsters inside the walls. You hear that shit? Unless it's just that stone like breathing heavily and having asthma. That looks like it was the first secret, so there's got to be more of them around here somewhere, but... Huh. 
Huh. I guess you only get one shot to be inside that room. My guess is that maybe there was some kind of secret inside of this room right here that branched off into some other area that rings this one. But up until we find access to a auto map tower or an auto map station, I don't think we're actually going to have 100% verification on that. Kill eight demons with a single shot? With what? The BFG? I mean, there's a game of Demon Destruction. I want to play Demon Destruction. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here, and I know I'm being pedantic about this, but... Just wanted to check and make sure. Realistically, there could be things that open along the bottom, too. Well, I don't know if I just want to spend time running in circles with my face against a wall, just being like, It feels scratchy! And hoping that we find secrets. Additionally, Ollie is here. Joining, there's a sword. Why can't I pick up the Templar's sword and use that to fight with dudes? God, this is a grisly place to hang out. You guys are using entrails as decorations. Those don't go on walls. Those don't go there. Those can't suit their natural biological function when they have been removed from the specimen. The spetchy man. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to imply that I missed four secrets in between, like, here and here. Which makes me think there must be a big secret over here somewhere. Especially since you can hear monsters through the walls. My estimation is that inside that room somewhere... You hit a switch and something opens to like a huge part of the complex over here where there's more secrets. And then there's apparently more elite guards too. Unless this area still counts as where we were previously. Which it might actually. This might count as... Yeah, because we haven't picked up any field drones in this part. So this must just card... Yeah, this, this counts as the back end of some place that we've already been. So never mind. I'm panicking about shit that... Wait, what was that? Oh, it looks like he might be able to crawl up inside of there. Ollie's on my lap right now, so if you hear me cry out in pain, it's because he's lost his temper as usual. And reverted to hood cat werewolf mode and decided to chomp down on me. He gets mad now when you don't pet him enough. Like, he'll just be sitting by yourself in a room, and he'll walk up and bite you, and then lay down and start purring. And I'm just like, damn, dude. And it's not a love bite either. Like, he bites you hard. Like, he's punishing you... For not thinking about petting him before he had to come to you and pet him. My god, you're a little psycho. Somehow I get the feeling the minions of hell are probably going to be upset about the fact that I just shut down their escalade. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Who's shooting? Okay, so they're shooting down there. Then I shall deal with that momentarily. Ow. Bitch. Oh, I was trying to... Man, I hit my head, though. I was pretty excited about the possibility of maybe jumping off the second floor balcony. And landing on his face and crushing it like Rockstar style. But it didn't go down like that. Literally didn't go down like that. Yes, give me your bullets. I keep shooting all of my bullets at everything. And I could definitely use more. Entry is locked due to a demonic... Oh, security substation. Okay. Gotta find a substation. Huh. Apparently I can push that around with my foot. I don't see anything that's looking like a security substation in here. Lots of people throwing their bodily fluids all over the walls, though, so there's that. Inside that room, it looks like there is some pretty awesome stuff. Top floor is looking like they've got a snack station or something going on over here. 
Just in case you wanted to get yourself a cheese, oh, cheeseburger sounds so good. I had pizza last night for my favorite pizza joint, though, so I'm waiting for that to, like, clear my system. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, before I start shoving anything else inside of me. You know, like, sometimes you eat so much that for, like, the next day or so, you just feel full. It's just too much. You can't add anything else to the pile. That's exactly where I'm functioning from. My, everything looks like it's non-functional up here. That's exactly where I'm operating from right now. I gotta wait until something can't go in until something leaves. I gotta bid farewell to old friends before we can make new ones. You smell me? Um... I want to go in there, but I don't know when we're going to get access to it. I've been burned so many times by doors that are sealed by security stations, and then I ignore them thinking I'll find the security station later, and then I'm not able to get back that... Yeah, exactly. Once I leave this little platform, there ain't no going back inside of here. So I wonder how we get the place back online. It's either that or there's got to be like a ventilation shaft or something that allows me in there. Ah, there we go. Ooh, BFG ammo. I am always down for. I'm trying to actually, like, compile a decent supply of that shit so that once we start getting to the nastier challenges later on in the game... So how come the door will automatically open when I'm in here, but it won't automatically open when I'm out there, man? I'm feeling a little bit... feeling a little bit cheated right now. How many weapon thingamadoobies do I have? I have six of them. I can move faster with the tactical scope. Ammunition fired while zoomed uses experimental high damage rounds. Alternatively, micro missiles can be fired indefinitely without requiring a reload. Wow, that sounds pretty badass. Let's see, we have superheated shots. Amount of heat that could be contained, resulting in more damage. I still don't have the other upgrade. Uh, the reason I haven't been using this is because it takes so long to cycle in between the shots. And so that might help. Our reduced time to max charge and reduced time between firing. So that'll probably help out quite a bit, and then I'll save the rest. When it comes to our armor upgrades, I don't really care. We have everything, so... I don't know, make our, make our power-ups cooler or something. Yeah, there you go. Let's see here. Get one chance to survive a death blow and get health. It resets on death. Armed with the Gauss Cannon. And only the resources. Find and eliminate the targets before the timer expires. Okay. Yeah, we've already done this one before, but last time they gave us a shotgun or something ridiculous like that. So the Gauss gun or the Gauss gun will probably be quite a bit more helpful. I don't know why I always want to say Gauss. Hmm. There are a lot of enemies in here. There we go. Blast him apart. Oof. Can't be having these misses, though. There we go. Let me get a little bit more ammo. All it really takes in here... is one hit to really, really mess up our day, but I guess that was it. That actually didn't seem like that difficult of a challenge, did it? I don't know, it seemed kind of simple to me. It's all good. I'll take an easy challenge. I'll take a hard challenge. I don't really care, although is there such a thing as an easy challenge? I mean, I suppose if you're using the word challenge as like a noun, but a challenge by itself seems like in some level it must be imbued with some kind of difficulty in order to be considered a challenge in the first place. Otherwise, it would just be like, I don't know, a test? Demon staggers last longer, equipment power, we got equipment items, 2,500 points of armor. Yeah, I'm trying to max out all these various things that I have. Have we finished off any other guns, or have we only finished off that one on one side? 
Looks like we've only finished off that one on one side. So for multi-targeting, I've got to kill five summoners with a burst. Okay. Not completely enthused about that, but we'll make it happen, Kevin. Oh man, how much you want to bet that that was awesome up there? Now I can't have it. I don't know if I can make the jump back over to there. I don't actually think there's anything on those little platforms. So... We're kind of off the grid right now. Let's say it kind of looked like I could jump up in here. And I was hoping there might be a secret back up in here, but I guess not. What about this one? Hey, climb. Bastard, climb. There we go. Oh, I won't grab that one. Apparently, I'm not supposed to be back up in there. That worked pretty well, though. Was there anything special with this green shit over here? No. Oh, I do not like this one bit. Let's get something out that kills. Sounds like there's something inside the walls. Yep. Let's see if we stick this one out here. Ooh. I can climb in between the crates. Just barely duck that little bit of damage, though. I'm thinking if I want to get the... Oh, no. That was a terrible plan. Giving that Kako Demon free bites. Ah. I don't know what I want to do right now. I'm actually mostly just a little horrified with my situation. Feels like no matter where I go, I'm about to catch an ass whooping. Oh, hey, what's up, pal? Start whooping on them a little bit. Woo. There's a quad damage right there. Which I think sounds just swell. Unfortunately, oof. It kind of splattered right now. Is it, though? Is it? Thank you for your useful quantification of my demonic problems. I appreciate you going the extra mile, computer, to let me know how well and truly screwed I am. Kind of have issues right now, don't we? This is all seeming very problematic. Not so sure I like my situation. There we go. Get some huggy loves in here. 
No! What did I get hit by? I was trying to use my cheapy. I was trying to use my cheap camping spot to win. Some of these areas are getting a little intense to the point where it's just like there's so much shit in here that how do you even manage to dodge any of it? You know. <laughs> Like, there's so many things flinging projectiles at you at any given moment. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, my game crashed during the last load. That's the first game crash I've had at all with Doom. Kind of a weird feeling. Hooray! We're back inside this hellish room that has not worked out so great for us so far. Let me see if I can get some of these little bastards lined up here. There we go. You're now dead. I think I can play peekaboo from right here. Without getting in too much trouble. There we go. You're now down. Eventually, I think, some of these guys should come up here to try and find me. This is one of the first times I've been able to corner up and not give a shit, though. So, you know what? I'm going to play this a little differently than I have previously. There we go. Sounds like they're right on top of me. But, we seem to be okay, I mean, doesn't look like things are too bad. Get rid of him, get rid of him. Oh, hey, what's up, Impy? How you doing? Welcome to the bird's nest. Ow. It's weird how they can hook those shots sometimes. Yes, you guys are all dead now. I'm going to try and get down in here. Let me get something a little bit beefier. That maybe I can kill something with. Put a nade down there for a little bit. Maybe I'll fish out a kill or two. Doesn't seem entirely too unlikely. Oh, good. I picked up a haste. Well, that's fun. Should make my life a little easier, maybe. Did I just reflect his little shot thing? I think I did. You see that when I hit him, though? Like, it looked like he threw his little shot thing off in one direction. There we go. Get a little bit of armor. Christ. Basically, I need better situational analysis skills. Yeah. thinking that's where we're falling apart here. Just kind of got to know where to go next rather than freaking out and going to the wrong spot. All right, rocket launcher. Let's you and me get cuddly. He's got to go because I need the upgrades. I think I may have killed him. Maybe if I got really, really lucky. Ow. Yeah, it might be time. Woo! It's pretty intense. Definitely got the blood moving. Well, that's what I like about this game. It has something that a lot of shooters lack, which is that intensity, that constant need to just be like, go! Like, there is no stopping. There is no refueling. There is no sitting in a corner and breathing heavily. They are coming for you. They will get after you at some point, And then your entire plan is going to fall apart. So you better get moving. All right. Well, we're just about out of time for the day. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Doom. I will see you all in future episodes. It has been a blast so far. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you in future episodes. Bye, everybody.